argue that he is tearing communities apart. A dark void has torn open in our star surface, presenting an unprecedented threat to our planet's technological infrastructure. Scientists are warning this colossal hole, coronal hole, spanning the width of 60 Earths, could unleash chaos on the planet's magnetic field. Our next report telling you more. The sun, the great guardian of our solar system, burns with an unrelenting fire, sustaining all life on Earth. For billions of years, the celestial heartbeat of our existence has been a steady source of warmth and energy. But even the sun has tempers, and right now, it is seething with fury. A colossal gaping hole, 800,000 kilometers wide, has opened up on its surface. These images show the hole large enough to swallow at least 60 Earths. This vast void, known as a coronal hole, is unleashing torrents of solar wind, blasting charged particles directly toward our planet. Scientists warn this could trigger powerful geomagnetic storms, disrupting satellites, power grids, and radio communications. Initial predictions suggest moderate geomagnetic storms. Experts say the solar wind's intensity has thus far remained relatively subdued. This enormous coronal hole, an unusually large one for this phase of the solar cycle, appeared near the sun's equator. Unlike the bright, fiery surface of the sun, coronal holes appear as dark patches. They are cooler, less dense regions where the sun's magnetic field has opened, allowing high-speed solar wind to escape. Charged particles from this solar wind are racing toward Earth. While initial forecasts suggested a moderate G2 geomagnetic storm, early readings indicate a weaker impact so far. But experts sound a note of caution, the emergence of a coronal hole at the equator. So close to solar maximum is an anomaly, one that space scientists are scrambling to understand. With the sun growing more unpredictable, Earth braces for what could come next. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.